Where are my controllers? Where are my controllers? There they are. Oh man, forgot. It's recording. Hey guys, Thunder E here, and uh, yes, here is my sort of gaming review of the Oculus Quest. And you're wondering, is this any good? Short answer is yes. The reason why, let's find out after we hear this word from a sponsor of ours who is really fun. Check it out. So playing music is a lot of fun. Now learning how to play music, mm, not so much. Well, until Lumi. Now, I got to experience this for the first time a couple of weeks ago, and I've gotta say, you have to try it out. Lumi allows you to jam, play, learn music in totally new ways where you can follow the keys one by one and actually learn the songs and learn what you're actually playing, or you can jam to the music and create your own tunes while jamming and making something completely new. It is an absolute blast. I jumped in in about 10 minutes. I was going away. Yes, it may not have sounded perfect, but I really was having a good time. And you guys can too. Uh, so definitely go ahead and check out Lumi in our link down in the description to find out more for the Kickstarter. Maybe you can get one yourself and let me know what you think about it when you do because I wanna hear what kind of jams you guys create. So the Oculus Quest, a standalone VR headset from Oculus which is powered by a Snapdragon 835 processor. Mm -hmm. And I have to mention, this unit was provided to us by Qualcomm, so I wanna say thank you for that. And this is a very unique VR headset uh, because I used to have a Vive and an Oculus Rift, and I sold both of them, and I'm kinda of fine. I'm fine because this has supplied my VR needs quite well. As I said, it's a standalone headset. You've got this nice looking headset that I've got to say, well built. Compared to everything else, I think Oculus does a really good job here. You put it on your head, you can see how it mounts and looks. What I like about the headset is the fact that once you put it on, the first time, the cameras in front allow you to see everything. So I can see my hands, I can take a step back, I can walk away, and I can stand next to my chair. I can go ahead and pick up one of my uh, controllers, drop them down. That's what this does. And that is possible because of what you have outside and internally. You've got cameras all around the headset, which is really nice. So you've got four cameras giving you positions, which means you don't need those sensors anymore. Your six degrees of motion is expanded where you can walk around. You can map out your area and walk around, which is great. Um, and then you've got a USB Type-C port for charging on the left a power button on the right, uh, you've got headphone jacks either side, which is nice, and then you've got a, a slider for you know, the distance, and then there's a volume rocker because they're built-in speakers. Now, like I said, what makes it work is because of that and the Snapdragon 835 processor, this thing handles VR so well. I mean, I was really shocked and surprised at how fluid it was. You know, there's so many functions you can do with this thing. You can record gameplay, which you see some gameplay on here. You can record your gaming sessions, whether you're playing Space Pirates or Kree. And the interactivity with these things are really, really good. Like, you see me just moving around, and I kind of look silly here, and thank you, Danny Wigan, for helping me shoot this. Um, it, but it really get involved. You're not tethered to anything. And that's what I like about it. You're not tethered, you get the full experience, you get the idea. But you can, you know, you can record within the game. You can cast out to either your phone or Chromecast. I wish I could actually cast to my Samsung TV. That would have been fun. But the ability to share what you're doing with others is huge. And that's a good thing because using the power of the 835, combining that and pushing it out with this unit, it, it totally is awesome. Now, when it comes to controllers, you've got two controllers, of course, left and right. Each controller has this kind of like circular unit to it. So, of course, you kind of grip it like that. You've got a trigger, you've got a side button, then you've got a joystick and a BNA. The other one has X and Y, but similar format here. Now, these use a single battery. I use a rechargeable battery here. They're both AA batteries. And they allow you to, of course, use it and function. So how are the games? That's what you guys care about. How is the gaming gameplay with this? Beat Saber, first game that everyone will tell you about. It's, it's a must get when you're playing VR. 
Um, it really gets, in, gets you into the music, the, the session, the music is great. You tend to move around and watching my friends play, which you guys will see in a second, um, really gets you involved. Um, then this space, space pirates, where you're shooting different things. Um, again, a great game, uh, great feature. But again, the, all these games are kind of like action, straight shot games in a way, and that's what that's what I've seen with VR that works really well. Uh, Creed is another one where I honestly I didn't know what I was doing half the time, but it still felt good to play that and see the experience and get all that in there together. So that was actually pretty good. But the main thing about VR is about sharing some of that ability, especially with the Quest, with other people. Because now I can take this with me. That's one of the biggest things. With the Rift, or even the, the Vive, or HTC's new headset, you're tethered to a PC. So now, I decided to what? Pack this up, go meet some of my YouTube buddies which you know, uh, the Unlocker and Gadget Match, Michael Josh, to see what they thought about the Quest. Okay, so uh, it's it's better than I expected it was gonna be um, because it doesn't have like any towers and stuff. I was kind of expecting it to be worse than it was, but it was it was pretty good. And I, the thing that weirded me out was like as soon as I put it on, I could see people, like I could see you, and I could see like things around me because it has these cameras all around it, which is pretty neat. Um, and obviously, it's using that for the the tracking, I imagine, right? But it, it it was better than I thought. And honestly, I played the same game that I used to play um, on Vive. And it felt better on here. It actually felt like a little, a little, it was crisper, it was a little nicer looking, and also just felt a little more responsive, which definitely surprised me. I like the feeling of security I had, knowing that before I played the game, I marked out the boundaries. So even if I had uh, this on, I wasn't afraid. Even if I was alone at home, I'm, I'm not afraid to bump into furniture and whatnot. I like the fact that when I'm setting it up, I can also kind of see my surroundings. Uh, that gives me, you know, that, that allows me to, to set things up, do things on my own, use it without uh, a partner, and also without having to set up other hardware, cameras, sensors around me. Playing the game was great too. I, I felt in my element. I, I felt like I was inside my game. It was, it was great. So it seems like people will like the Quest, at least from my friends, and it's a unit that really takes things to the next level, especially for VR mobility. A standalone unit that doesn't interfere with your phone. Yes, you need your phone to set it up initially and then you're done, compared to any Wi-Fi network, wherever you are. The gameplay can be shared and cast out on a phone or a TV for people to view, and it is totally awesome. It gives you a fun experience, it's great, and I think a lot of people will love it. I can't wait to share it with parties and friends because I can cast it. I'm going to get Chromecast to do that or figure out how to do it on my TV. Um, and I can watch while people actually do something fun. So if you guys have any questions or any comments about the Oculus Quest, let us know. Um, leave your thoughts down below. And also, if you're interested about the Lumi, um, the music device that I shared earlier, Definitely check out their Kickstarter. I want to thank them for actually sponsoring this video. But I really had a lot of fun trying to learn how to play music and then just jamming on my own. So check it out. Uh, there you have it, guys. Thank you very much. And always enjoy your entertainment. Oh, I forgot. Don't forget to subscribe and like this video.